Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charles, and today we are going to be talking about quite a couple of different subjects. Make sure you have your nice little beverage ready to go on. I have me some Coke, because unfortunately, um, I can't. Oh, drinking is the only uh, other option here. And also make sure you go ahead and get your little favorite snacks here. I got me some Pringles because I haven't had them in a minute and they're delicious, you know? So today we're gonna be talking about quite a couple of things. I know I haven't been uh, on for a minute, but things have been a little bit crazy. The Pokemon community has been a lot a bit crazy. Um, so it's just gonna be quite a little things here and there, opening random packs, and we're gonna be diving into a whole quite some situations that have been going on, especially with not having to find certain products and whatnot. Um, so usually I try to upload every Friday. Unfortunately, the laziness got to me. And then the whole um, new Texas Ice Age happened and boy, was that fun. Let me tell you, when I thought I was gonna die alone in bed, cold and frozen, baby, Elsa, Elsa was a whole new meaning here in Texas, okay? But it is what it is. We made it. We're through to that BS, but whatever. So we're gonna be talking quite about a few different things, like I mentioned. Um, one of the main things that we're gonna be talking about is something that I happened to do um, during one of those little moments where I was kind of MIA. I did a uh, Pokemon puzzle. And this is a puzzle that I did. It is the Charizard and the Gyarados poster. I believe this was in uh, the uh, Detective Pikachu, the movie, um, which was kind of shown in the room. I did it and I was very, very upset, mainly because after doing the 1000 piece puzzle, one piece was missing. So my puzzle only contained 999 pieces. I turned my room upside down. And when I tell you I didn't find my piece, I didn't find it. And I was so freaking pissed. My neck hurt, my back hurt, I been bent over. <laughs> yeah, anyways. But yes, the piece that was missing was located somewhere around up here. You can't really notice it unless I kind of like, you know, kind of point it out. Um, but that was very upsetting. Like, I'm like, I was waiting for that gratifying moment whenever you put the last piece in the puzzle. However, once I glue the piece together without that one piece or whatever, I'm gonna post, not post it up, I'm gonna hang it on my walls. Um, and I'm gonna call it Charles Pokemon Center. That's gonna be my little um, area there. I also still need to hang this and I still haven't done so, but I do have this other puzzle that I am extremely excited to work with. I think this one's gonna be a little bit easier because it has many different colors and all the different Pokemon. So I'm gonna be able to distinguish them and kind of tell them apart. Uh, so I bought this one for another, for, for a thousand. And then I found these, this other one. Um, this one comes with four, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, but the, as you can see on top, it comes with the starters. It has all eight generations on there. Uh, and this one's, I believe, um, are pretty much the combination of all generations with their evolutions on there. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. My friend has one that is Eevee and all the evolutions on there for two 2,000 pieces. And I am gonna go ahead and get that one as well. Super, super excited. Um, as you guys know, it is the Pokemon's 25th anniversary that just happened in February. They did a virtual concert with Post Malone on the 27th of February. That was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if Pokemon, however, caught what some of those lyrics were saying from Post Malone. So yeah, definitely. If you got kids, you should have definitely thought twice about that. But I just wanted to show you guys my Pikachu mug. Isn't it cute and adorable? Look at this. On this other side. Gotta catch them off, bitches. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so with everything that's been going on, Shining Fates, which is the new collection that was supposed to have been released or was released already um, into the market has been haywire. Cannot find it anywhere. Stores have been empty. 
Uh, I've been to Target, I've been to Walmart, and any other store that might potentially carry any Pokemon merchandise. I have not been able to find anything. Everything around me within possibly a 50 mile radius has been emptied out. I try to go there a couple of times a week to certain different stores. I never seem to catch them, but they are always empty. Ever since the whole, you know, that Paul, uh, Logan ended up doing that video of him opening the cards. Everyone has been going crazy buying the cards. People who have been collecting, people who are fans are starting to um, pretty much kind of like try to give out or are quitting pretty much the hobby that they've had, which is very, very upsetting uh, knowing that there's something that they've been passionate about and they're starting to kind of lose hope on this because scalpers have been going pretty much everywhere, buying everything at once to the point where even um, stores have been limiting the purchase amounts. Uh, so that's been a little bit crazy. So I myself have not been able to acquire any of these Shining Fades. Um, I don't have a big following enough to be sponsored yet. So definitely make sure you uh, like the video and give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. But you know, there's other people on here on the platform that have a bigger following. They are in a place where they have been sponsored before or they have uh, places that, you know, kind of prioritizes them. Unfortunately, I'm not in one of those positions. So I have not been able to get any of the new Shining Fates. Uh, so pretty much, Nowhere I have been able to uh, get those and people who have been able to get their hands on them have been trying to sell it for double and triple the price, which you know what, if you're trying to get your money, fine, get your money, but I personally don't kind of spend my money on that. Uh, so it's been very, very upsetting because I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, so today we're gonna be opening quite a couple of different things. We're gonna be talking about different things, you know. Um, this right here is one of the four uh, packs that McDonald's has been doing in collaboration with uh, Pokemon for their 25th anniversary. Um, so what I've been doing wherever I can is I go to McDonald's, get a few kids meals for me and my nieces. Um, so that way, you know, we can actually kind of obviously eat the food because I've seen videos and pictures of people who literally go and buy like 50 kids, uh, kids meals, which was done until McDonald's kind of put a stop to it. It was like, you can only do five at a time. Uh, so every time I can, I stop at McDonald's, I get a kids meal or two and, you know, just try to collect these. There's 25 in the collection, there's eight for each of the starters, and then there's one Pikachu. To my knowledge, I believe they are regular, um, regular non-hollows and a uh, hollows here. So for today, um, I am going to be opening one of these for you guys. As you can see, the bag layout on here, it has the different starters. Um, all lined up. This one happens to be number four, if I am not mistaken, out of the four that came out, each number comes with two different variants where Pikachu is doing a different position, where we're smiling, jumping, or whatnot. Here you can see the 25th anniversary Pikachu uh, head with the two and the five where the cheeks are supposed to be. I will be opening that with you guys today as well. Um, another thing that I'm gonna be opening today are going to be the Pokemon um, sun and moon. These ones are the dollar packs. I did happen to still have some of those in my little collection. However, um, I'm trying to be a little bit more wary and careful on what exactly I open because a lot of people don't know when they will be able to uh, pretty much get their hands on some more of these or if they'll even be able to replace certain of those. So I'm hoping that I can kind of like hopefully cross in my fingers that I can get my hands on that. And I happen to have a few more of the Champions Path collection sets. So I am going to be opening that as well. So we have quite a few things here. Champions Path, we have Sun and Moon, the basic collection. We have the Pokemon 25th anniversary, and we're just gonna sit here and us girls talk a few things and fellas, of course, to my sisters and brothers and those in between. Let's go ahead and have some fun, get your drink, pull out your questions, do whatever you want or don't, whatever, it's your business. You know what I mean? So with that, we're gonna go ahead and proceed 
we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Pokemon 25th anniversary collection opening card. Um, it does come in here, as you can see, opening these. Um, comes with a pack. The pack itself is not made like the traditional packs that you get in the store, where it's more of a plastic uh, wrapper. This one feels more like a glossy paper, uh, pretty much. So it comes with four game cards in here. I believe they are all marked to be the Pokemon 25th anniversary. Um, different ones do come with different uh, inserts. This one only came with I believe this one is a poster or like a picture frame with a Pikachu in, inside. Very adorable. I'm pretty sure you can replace that with a Pokemon card. Um, or to be honest, I think this one might be missing something. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But there were videos of scalpers pretty much kind of removing a lot of this stuff or certain McDonald's were even opening up the cards. I saw some pictures. I was in disbelief and I was like, that would be very upsetting um as you can see here we have a cute little maze with a charmander in different positions very very nice and it does come obviously with the kit here um and i have been seeing comments being made about oh you know you're not um people are not able to get these for their kids people are not able to um have kids experience pokemon and whatnot honestly there are many other different types of pokemon toys um, that kids can get into. There's stores that still had plenty, plenty of them to go around. Not saying that, you know, they're not meant for kids as well, but in my opinion, if I'm being honest here, not a lot of kids are gonna understand how to play the trading card game, you know what I mean? Um, and even at that, Nowadays, kids don't really know a lot about Pokemon. Most of, most of the Pokemon fans are pretty much folks from the younger generations that grew up still trying to kind of relive that moment. So it's very, very hard to like um, say that, you know, kids are not being able to get into this. Uh, mainly because kids are either into Fortnite, kids are doing now a lot of those mobile games, Among Us, you know, um, and all these other games that are pretty much popular right now um mainly because kids don't want to invest the time into a game uh, so they just want quick and easy games that you know they can easily pass or they can easily get into and in and out something to entertain them very quickly which is one of the reasons why sword and shield was very very easy to kind of complete and you know the walkthrough there wasn't really a lot of little side quests that you get with all the other games um for example, for the Diamond and Pro, I believe that's one of the games that had most of the longest playthrough in it, which was very, very exciting. I, however, am starting to kind of still play it. I still have the games. So I'm trying to find out a, a, a way where I can go ahead and uh, play it and do a screen share, uh, screen share so that way I can go ahead and kind of play through with it with you guys. Um, so still trying to find that out. And I also have my little Tapu Koko sleeves on here ready. I believe these were for the Guardians Rising um, that was came in here. But as you guys saw in a previous video, I did get that in one of these surprise boxes. Um, but obviously, if you guys haven't already noticed, um, this is not for kids. So hopefully if your kid is watching this video, it is being supervised because it is not for little uh, niños or niñas, you know? But it is what it is, my little bitches. So let's go ahead and get right into this, you know? Trying to see if we can get some good shit out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this right up. Uh, hopefully we can get, I already saw it. Uh, so the one that came in that was a hollow, I believe it's going to be a fire Pokemon. Uh, I know obviously like always, people are always trying to get the Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu obviously is one of the mascots for the game. Uh, so that's great. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Score Bunny. Here we go. Uh, they, of course, are reprints uh, of previous, I guess, uh, packs that were released. Um, I'm trying to get a good picture on here. There we go. Without the glare on here, still need to figure that out. Can you believe I still haven't figured that out, girl? Mm. 
Um, we have Piplip, of course. Piplip is a very, very bossy Pokemon. Tepic, I believe I do have a Tepic that is a hollow. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty nice. And we also have another score bunny. Oh, here we go. This is a perfect way for me to kind of explain this to you guys. So obviously you have the regular here and then you have the holographic here. They do have the same stats on here, so nothing is different except for that. And in the corner of the image, you can see that I have the 25th anniversary. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty nice. Um, Finally, I can go ahead and add those on there. I don't know how many of them I'm gonna be able to open, to be honest, to be able to complete the whole collection because I do want to keep some of them sealed. Um, you know, first and foremost, I do consider myself a Pokemon fan. However, when it comes to collecting, I don't know how easy I'm gonna be able to kind of keep it like that because I do want to keep some of them sealed. But of course, you know, I want to collect them all. So, you know, it is what it is, sis. We're gonna go ahead and start getting into the dollar packs. Now, these are dollar packs. However, they do only come with three cards in it, which I think is a fair trade. One dollar, you get three of them. So that's pretty much it. So pretty much with these, it's as if I'm opening three of the regular cards. Um, so that was that. I am starting to be very, very impatient when it comes to opening cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe all these together. Hopefully I don't get it in the top, but we're just gonna go ahead and get all of that at once. That way they just makes it easier towards the ending. Put that to the side and we can start to open this one by one. Oh, you guys saw that? All right, we're gonna start off this pack here with a Grubbin. We're gonna have a Growlithe. This one's more of a cartoonish look. And Bodor, which is stage one from Roganrola. I'm sorry, Roganrola. And of course, this ones do come with little advertising cards on what you can continue to do with games and going online to get um, episodes or watch that and whatnot. I'm very, very excited for the new games that have been announced. I believe it is three games or so that were announced that were going to be released. Um, here we have in this pack, we have a Sparrow, an Incineroar, and we have a dark energy. Um, like I said, for the new games, uh, we finally got what we were asking for a Diamond and Pro remake. So those are coming. Uh, very, very excited. People were not very excited about the fact that the characters um, are chibi sized. Uh, so I myself think that it brings a lot of memories from when we were actually playing it back into the, you know, the little 2D pixel um, format. I think that it's wonderful. Then you have an open world one, which is the uh, Pokemon Arceus, which is very, very exciting. And then of course, you're gonna have the new Pokemon Snap, um, which if I knew that the old one, you were able to print out the pictures, I think I would have definitely, definitely have added that. Uh, with this one, you're gonna have a side duck. You have a Litten, which is the basic form of the Incineroar, and we have a Dragonair. Um, in terms of the Pokemon packs, the dollar packs, people are saying they're not really worth it. Actually, they are. Because you still have a chance to open a Secret Rare or uh, one of the uh, other cards that are more, I guess, pricier in your collection uh, or worth it, I would say. But everyone has their opinion, girl. You know what I mean? Nowadays, people will just do whatever they want to do. Here we have a Dratini, which is the basic form of the Dragonite. Now I have Dratini and Dragonair, just amazing Dragonite from the Sun and Moon collection. We have a Popplio. And you see what I mean? This one's a reverse hollow. And then we have the big Malasada, which I still want to go ahead and try. I don't know why it is, but a lot of, a lot of like anime food looks so good that you're just, they're like, I don't even know if I want to eat this in real life because real life is so disappointing, which it kind of is. 
Uh, cause you know, you got all this other stuff. But I mean, whatever. It's funny now because it's like, I'm an adult who has access to adult money and now I am able to buy anything I want, which is a bad thing. Cause no, sometimes it's not good to be able to buy whatever you want. Here we have the Grimer, a reverse hollow rare candy. This is very nice. This rare candy looks like a, um, a stone to be honest. Look at this. I'll show this better look for you guys. Look at how that candy looks. It's very, very nice. Um, and then we're gonna end this off with a regular water energy. I'm gonna just try to kind of fly through these. That way the video is not too, too long for you guys. Don't want to bore you guys to death either. Here we have this sir skit. Ooh, look at this one. A Lurantis GX. It evolves from a faux mantis. Oh, look at this. This is very nice. And the edges actually look very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that one up. Oh, take this one away. Put this one here. I don't want to further continue to damage this card to get my dirty fingerprints on it. Put that right here. Snack break! So let's go ahead and get into the rest. Alright, here you guys go. Cabrawler. We have a Deuce by the Reverse Hollow and a Lightning Energy. You know what, I was thinking eventually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start giving like pre-made decks um, because I do have a lot of repeat cards. I do have a lot of cards, period, and it's all because I have really opened a lot of packs. And to be honest, no one really needs that many Pokemon cards. And I have a lot of energy cards, of course, uh, but I think it would be great for people who wanna start up their own decks. That would be a very, very great starter. Um, so I probably will be making or kind of selling maybe later on in the future those pre-made decks at a very, very affordable price, of course. Um, and then you can kind of basically go on from there. So we have a Shelter, a Togo Demaru. Look at that. Look at the little chunky ball right there. And then we have the Alolan Raticate. Um, but yeah, I thought about that. And you know, it is very nice for those who actually want to go get into it, you know, Try it out and see if that's something you like. To be I, as a kid, I never really understood the game, so I kind of stuck more towards Yu-Gi-Oh. I still kind of buy some decks here and there. So we have this deck. We have a Torco, a Palo Sand, and another Bow Door. See, this is what I mean. This would be great to kind of start adding there to like a ground or a fighting deck or I can never seem to I'll just call it a ground to be honest. But I don't know if it's a ground or a fighting. Mm. It is what it is. So here we have this final one. I wanted to open the one that came out. Uh, it was like a Jota release that came out in November uh, that had the pins for uh, Entei, Suikun, and Raikou. Um, I was gonna open that, but I was like, mm, maybe I should save that for a later time. Here we have an Alona Grimer again. We have a Go Duck. I think this is a very, very nice uh, art on here. So, uh, Hasuno, props to you for this art. And then we have a Grass Energy. And that's going to be pretty much it for the dollar packs. We're gonna go ahead and move straight um, into the other champions pass since i've already opened this before uh in the past i don't really have to explain it too much on here we're just gonna get right into it if there is a card that you see you collect cards and you would like to add that um definitely send me a message and you know we can definitely i can ship that your way so you can add it to your collection so and get this open here we go we have the double which i have a whole bunch of these 
So if you haven't been able to get your hands on that, definitely let me know. I can go ahead and send that over to you because I don't need multiple, multiple. As you can see, the oversized cards, which there should be a binder that should be coming out where you can kind of put cards like that on there. Here we go. Starting off with a pack for you guys. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of throw in everything aside. Uh, we're gonna have a Gardevoir, two Art Creamies. Oh, actually two Gardevoirs and two Art Creamies. Oh, this packs feel really nice. Uh, for everything on here, as you guys can, for the Champion's Path, that one comes with a Charizard, I believe, the shiny Charizard. So here we're gonna go ahead and start off with an Ekans. I'm sorry, not an yeah, it's an Ekans. Oh, my bad, I kind of definitely confused that one. We're gonna have a Carvana, Swap Blue, Vulpix, Trubbish, a Reverse Hollow Weedle, I did not do the card trick on this one, so this one was a little bit messed up. And a Professor Research, which I already actually have this one in my collection. A Dark Energy, Sonia, Sharpedo, and Arbok. Would you look at that? And here is the other card for you guys. So would you look at that, it starts off with Ekans and ends with Arbok, very, very nice. How embarrassing, I'm trying to open these cards but I can't even do it in one go, that's how weak I am. There you guys go, another code for you. Grass energy and it's a lightning energy. There go. Suspicious food tin. Malamar. Great ball. Bopix. Trubbish. A roly coli. Galarian Sixagoon. I swear these were pets. I feel like these are were pretty much everywhere. A Weedle. A reverse hollow naked. And we're ending this off with a Lucario. <gasps> Look at that stunning artwork. Uh, look at that. Wow. I think I get excited every time because I don't have these in my collection and I'm just like, oh, how beautiful it is. Like the background, the amount of time they actually invest in the background of those are, it's just outstanding. Like some backgrounds just look absolutely amazing. Oh, kind of messed that one up. Here we guys go. Another Champion's Path code. I still have not been able to kind of play online. Starting off with a Water Energy. Milo. Milo is the daddy hunk of Pokemon. Look at that. You're gonna tell me you ain't gonna see a swole daddy and you're gonna be like, hey girl, hey. Arbok. Bead. Kakuna. Nirvana again, Potion, Bopix again, Machop, Reverse Hollow, Potion, and another Professor's Research. At this point, very, very disappointing. But such is life, and what can you do but try to make the best out of it? You know what I mean? Here we go. Just try to laugh it off as best as you can. Hides the pain better. All right, starting off with a grass energy. Sharpedo again. Pokemon Center Lady, this bitch would always be Pokemon Nurse Joy. She will forever be Nurse Joy. I don't care if they renamed her. Turfield Stadium, Bopix, the Chop, all of those again. They were really Coley. Carvana, Potion, a, a Lipard, Reverse Hollow Lipard, ending this off with a Scentious Scorch. Which, look at that. And, oh, that was pretty much it. I thought I still had more. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I keep, uh, have my cards all over the place. I just found out I still hadn't moved all of those on here. <laughs> So there might still be some of those on there. 
Um, we seem to be running a little bit over than what I usually upload, just a lot. Seem to be having a lot of trouble opening these. See what I mean? Another double. There we go. You wanna add that to your collection, definitely send me a message. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Move this double out of the way. Get these babies out of the way. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and add another card to scan. Put this together so I can just all take it all the way. You know what I mean, baby girl? Here we have all the different ones, Stratinol, Gardevoir, a Creamy, and that Glorian Obstacle. We'll start off with that one. Sending off this little pack for you guys. A Grass Energy. Milo again. Absol, Reefball. Scraggy, Rock Rough, Opix, Galarian Lenu, Full Heal, a Reverse Hollow Hop, and then this off with a Full Art Hop. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at that. I don't think I've yet to add this one to my collection. Let's you draw three cards. Very, very nice. I like the texture of these cards. Ugh. All right, we're gonna cheat on this one. I'm open that with my scissors. I've seen videos of people doing it with the scissors and honestly, it goes very, very wrong. They open and they cut like the very nice card. That's Here we go. Lightning Energy. Rotom Bike. Suspicious Food Tin. A Hyper Potion. A Bobix. A Chomp again. It seems like they're always together. A Really Coley. Another Carvana. A Potion. A Reverse Hollow. Really Coley. And we're gonna end up this pack with a Hollow Machamp. Look at that. We're gonna go ahead and get the Gardevoir. Oh, this one seems to be a little bit folded in the corner. Maybe I folded it when it was coming out. Uh, there we guys go. Psychic energy, trying to get that to make sure I don't have too much of a player for you. Rotom phone, Absol, Green Ball, Rock Rock, Full Heal, a Scraggy, Ekans, Kakuna, Reverse Hollow Scrafty, and then off with a Professor Research again. Dang, these boomers are everywhere. Come on now. Where are the good ones at? There you guys go. We have a code for you. I'm trying to cut this video short already. Metal Energy. Light Bar. Piers. Team Yo Grunt. Kakuna. Pokeball. The Chop. Hatina. A full heal, a reverse hollow scraggy, and then this one off with a hollow altaria. And there you go, you folks have it. Those are all the cards that I happen to get my hands on. Um, 
this three cards right here were pretty, pretty good. In my opinion, we could have definitely done much, much better, but what can we say? Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around this far along my video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Unfortunately, due to everything that is going on and not being able to find any of the new cards, you know, a lot of people are starting to get really, you know, heartbroken, not being able to find anything. But hopefully next time I, or soon, um, I will be able to get my hands on more cards, more things that I can show you guys. Uh, hopefully soon I can go ahead and start um, have you guys walk through with the games with me so I can kind of screen share with you guys on there. That would definitely be really, really cool in my opinion. Um, I do have all the games, well, all the DS games moving forward. I don't have any of the Game Boy Advance games in that way. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing all of that. I've seen how some people have some of the modded DSs. I don't have one, but I'm pretty sure I can definitely kind of find a way and kind of do that without kind of breaking the back. But thank you guys so much for sticking around. I'm Charles. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.